Well, for many, the holidays are a time to laugh and have a good time, but the magic can be difficult for families to find while dealing with serious illnesses. Yeah, a local foundation wants to help them by bringing some cheer and checking some items off their Christmas list. Brianda Villegas joins us now live to talk about more about this decades-long tradition. Brianda. Hey guys, so this is just something that makes their smiles just bright up. These little kids are so excited year after year. And that program, it's called A Flight to the North Pole. And although it's been around for 37 years, so it actually brings one thing every single year, and that's joy to the kids that really need it the most. You can tell the holidays are in the air here with the carols and even Mr. and Mrs. Claus rolling up in style. My feelings are happy and I want to tell Santa that he's very cool and I like his very beard. This flight to the North Pole for these kids is super special. Like for eight-year-old Allison Macario. When I was born, I was sick. She was born with a cleft palate. Though with years of treatment and therapy. I feel healthy and I'm very grateful to be here. Just one of more than 100 children here recovering or battling through serious illnesses. Me and my brother had disabilities. I have scoliosis and cleft palate. They got to experience a bit of magic here in Manatee County through the Flight to the North Pole program. It's to see them coming in and walking through that door and the big smile and the hugs. To forget their struggles. And I like the gingerbread houses because the candy on the floor actually looked very real. And make their wishes come true, even if it was just for one day. Such a sweet, sweet story. And this program, it is run by volunteers. It's a nonprofit organization, a flight to the North Pole. If you do want to donate or if you want to volunteer, I'll have all of that information on our WFLA app. But for now in Manatee County, I'm Brianda Villegas, 8 on your side.